Good Friday morning. I'm Jared Klein coming to you from the NBC 29 digital desk here on Facebook and the NBC 29 YouTube page with today's morning rush. Let's start off with a look at the top headlines you guys are reading over on NBC29.com. Coming in at number one, Charlottesville Chinchilla Cafe does in fact have chinchillas. We'll get to that story in just a moment. At number two, a man found dead after a reported shooting. This is in Richmond. And at number three, Albemarle police arrest a man wanted in Charlottesville. All right, let's head to Charlottesville for our first story this morning. Police say the man responsible for a deadly February shooting in the city is now behind bars. 19-year-old Ramaqua Antonio Nicholas right here. He faces charges of second degree murder and use of a firearm in the commission of a felony. His arrest is in connection to the death of Nicholas Pendleton of Gordonsville. You may have remembered this case back in February of 2022. Chief Michael Kaja says this shooting and others recently in the city involved people who knew each other and were not strangers who happened to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. So this isn't random violence, but Kaja says he wants to help stop future gun crimes by getting guns off the street. And his solution for that is a gun buyback program. All right, same day voter registration made a big impact in Albemarle County this year, especially for people who moved and forgot to change their address. The county's registrar says Albemarle and Charlottesville saw some of the highest same day registration in Virginia. Director of Elections Lauren Eddy says most of this comes from college students. Albemarle County saw more than 350 people register at its university precinct. Sometimes we would have to say, oh, you're still registered back home in Fairfax. You're going to have to try to drive back home two hours today before the polls close. But with same day registration, they were able to register at their polling place and vote. Saving people a trip there. This process was able to happen due to a new Virginia law that is in place, and it will also apply to the primaries in June. Well, did you catch that game last night? The UVA basketball team got an exciting win against UNC last night in the ACC tournament. Virginia now plays Clemson tonight at 930 in the semifinals. Marty Hutloff is in Greensboro with a look at last night's win. Let's take a look. Virginia's Ben Vanderplas broke his hand in practice Wednesday and will miss the remainder of the season. Francisco Caffro would enter Virginia's starting lineup. Tony Bennett's guys have never beaten Carolina in Greensboro. Virginia takes its first lead of the game 12 minutes in. Freshman Isaac McNeely hits the three. Later in the half, Kihei Clark to Reese Beekman to Caffaro. He slams it home. Virginia extends its lead to seven. Virginia led by as many as eight in the first half. Reese Beekman with three of his 11 first half points, but UVA only led by one at the break. Midway through the second half, the Hoos took their biggest lead up 10 when Kihei Clark hits this three-pointer. But North Carolina didn't go away. Here it's R.J. Davis with the three-pointer. He had a team-high 24 points. Virginia's lead is cut to five. Armand Franklin had 14 points for the Hoos, three of them here to put Virginia up seven. With just over two minutes left, Carolina cuts the deficit to three on this Davis bucket and draws the foul, but Carolina could never take the lead. About a minute to go, Virginia's Caden Shedrick with the block at one end, then he's running the court, and then Franklin finds him at this end for the slam dunk. Virginia beats North Carolina 68-59 to in a hard-fought game without Ben Vanderplas. I think they responded well. I mean, this this is a, a close-knit team, and, and we talk about lifting each other up, and unity is one of our big pillars. And I really thought, um, you know, our it was one less guy in the front court. And I thought, obviously, these two guys sit up here. Jaden did the job. But I thought Caden, you know, really gave us some rim protection, played hard, and Francisco did as well. And that – that mattered. Unity and, you know, with the veteran leadership and just, you know, coach challenging us that got to have that next man up mentality and that's what we did. So, and, you know, we didn't have a lot of time to prepare. Uh, we, we was able to get it done. Just being able to, you know, tuck it down on the defensive end, you know, get stops. That's where it all starts for us on the defensive end and, and being able to, you know, stop them from driving, stop them from you know, making make tough shots and things like that and on the offensive end, uh, wearing them down, making a move and chase us around the floor. 
This was Virginia's first ever win over North Carolina in the ACC tournament in Greensboro. Virginia now advances to play Clemson tonight at 930 in the tournament semifinals. In Greensboro, Marty Hutloff, NBC 29 News. Thank you, Marty, for that report. What a game last night, and we wish the Who's best of luck tonight as they take on Clemson. All right, here's the story that everyone is clicking on over on NBC29.com. There's a new concert venue that has a secret location and some furry buddies for all in Charlottesville. Take a look at this. Charlottesville musicians are invited to perform at the Chinchilla Cafe. There's two of them right there, so cute. It also hosts nonprofit community organizations to help further their causes. The cafe houses three chinchillas named Pip, Napoleon, and Star Baby. On a typical night, we have three bands play. Uh, in between sets, people can interact with the chinchillas. We don't serve anything here. We call ourselves Chinchilla Cafe, but this is a concert venue and community center. Now again, this location is a secret and it's only disclosed through messaging the company via social media. Very adorable. All right, well, don't forget this weekend is daylight saving time. I can't remember if it comes to an end or it begins. I believe it comes to an end, but either way, we're setting our clock forward one hour. That is happening Sunday at 2 a.m. Don't forget, you're gonna be losing an hour of sleep. So Monday morning might be a little rough getting up without that extra hour of sleep. I guess Sunday morning, if you have events planned on Sunday morning, you might want to go to sleep an hour earlier. But as for today, we are expecting a wet, chilly day ahead. Let's send things over to meteorologist David Rogers with a look at what we can expect. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday to you. Much colder conditions today. Keep in mind, we still have that winter weather advisory in effect for the Blue Ridge Mountains until about 2 o'clock this afternoon. Now, again, this will be mostly a cold rain event with some pockets of sleet, freezing rain, a few snowflakes. All of this associated with a cold front that will keep us uh, generally pretty wet as we go through the morning hours. I think later this afternoon things start to wind down and then we get into sunshine with a gusty wind for Saturday. We are tracking another system coming out of the Rocky Mountains and that will bring similar conditions to the area as we look ahead to again to your day on Sunday. Mostly a cold rain with a light mix and that'll continue into early Monday morning. By Monday afternoon, rain showers move out and we'll string together a few nice days, Tuesday, Wednesday into Thursday. It's a quick look at your forecast for now. Have a great and safe weekend. All right, thank you, David. Here's a look at that Michael and Sun heating seven day forecast. Again, that high of 46 today with a rain and mix. Tomorrow looks like sunny with some windy conditions, a high of 53. That will be the pick day for the weekend because Sunday, the wet weather returns with a high of 41. Again, we're springing forward and then next week looks more dry. Hey, thanks for joining us this morning on the Morning Rush. We'll see you again on NBC 29 News at noon and we're always live on NBC 29.com. Have a great Friday and a great weekend, everybody.